Let's spend a few minutes thinking about this example of a chain of reasoning, uh, the possible link between a currency appreciation and the rate of inflation. Here's a question. Analyse how an appreciation in a nation's currency can affect their inflation rate. OK, so the key thing here, of course, when you're making chains of reasoning is to use connective words and build a nice uh, logical uh, chain of reasoning to get great analysis marks. A currency appreciates inside a floating exchange rate system when the external value rises against other currencies. A nice clear definition there. One way this can impact on inflation is through a reduction in import prices. Since most commodities, you know, most commodities traded around the world are priced in US dollars. So if, for example, the euro goes up, appreciates against the dollar, then the, the, the prices of, of imported energy, raw materials, uh, component parts into countries such as Spain will come down. As a result, nice connective phrase to use, there will be an outward shift of short-run aggregate supply. Uh, we'll go through the diagram in a second. And consequently, again, a lovely connective word, there is downward pressure on the general price level. Thus, the annual rate of inflation may fall, and a fall in the rate of inflation, let's say from 6% down to 3% perhaps, that is known as disinflation, a fall in the rate of inflation. In addition, a stronger currency also makes exports from a country less price competitive in overseas markets. And if export volumes, export sales go down, if they contract, there'll be a fall in aggregate demand, perhaps leading to a negative output gap and a fall in demand, pull inflationary pressures. So it's quite clear this answer is all about how a, a strong currency can affect both aggregate supply and aggregate demand. So you'd want to support your analysis with a diagram. Uh, first of all, a fall in exports might cause a fall in AD. Notice that I've put 81 to 82 brackets fall in exports. Just tells the examiner that you're highlighting the impact of a fall in exports. That takes the equilibrium price level down to GPL2. But we also said in our answer that a strong exchange rate uh, brings down the, the, the price of imported components and energy and things. That causes aggregate supply to shift outwards to SRAS2, brackets fall in import prices. Now, the beauty of this diagram is obviously you can then show that prices, the price level will come down still further. The rate of inflation will fall to GPL3. Just labelling the diagrams this way just tells the examiner that you're um, identifying cause and effect. SRAS2, brackets fall in import prices, just tells the examiner that you're focusing on the, the link between the currency appreciation and the fall in the imported price index, if you like. Once you've built the analysis, you'll want to evaluate. Obviously, good analysis leads to strong evaluation. I'm a big believer in that. Uh, the impact on inflation depends on the extent to which a country is actually highly dependent on, on those imported energy supplies and raw materials. Perhaps uh, the country has a very high dependency on imported gas, for example. So if the dollar price comes down, because of an exchange rate depreciation, that's going to have quite a big effect, isn't it, on the rate of inflation. The effect on inflation depends on the elasticity of demand for exports. If prices go up overseas, will there be a fall in demand? Obviously, it can impact on aggregate demand there. The exchange rate, of course, is not the only factor affecting inflation. External factors, the world price of gas and, uh, and coal or whatever it is, or the price of copper uh, and lithium batteries, lots of external factors affect inflation, not just... The exchange rate. And of course, it's possible that a stronger currency uh, might make a nation's central bank perhaps more willing to cut interest rates, uh, which in turn could increase demand pull inflationary pressures. So there we go. I hope you found this, uh, this video useful. I've done a whole series of chains of reasoning videos on different micro and macro topics. Stay happy. Stay positive. See you sometime soon.